Hey guys, it's Michael. In this video, I'll share the best ways to get data in New Zealand, and I'll talk about my favorite data providers for the country. So, let's get started. First, I highly recommend Maya Mobile. It's an eSIM provider. What I love about it is that you can easily check the coverage on their website. Clicking on Coverage lets you explore specific areas, revealing robust data and network coverage with Maya Mobile. So, just click on Coverage, select New Zealand, and see what is actually covered. However, it's worth mentioning that Maya's eSIM doesn't have a cell number connected to it, so you can't make calls, but you can easily use WhatsApp or FaceTime or another equivalent app that only uses data. First, check if your phone is compatible with eSIM. Head to the Help section, then eSIM Compatible Phones to find information on compatible phones. You'll find a variety of phones listed here. Additionally, you can search on Google to confirm if your specific phone is compatible with eSIM. Then, if your device supports eSIM, we can proceed. To start, click the search icon and search for the country or region that you are going to, for this example, New Zealand, and if you use the link in the description, you'll enjoy a 10% discount. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. After searching for New Zealand, you will be redirected to a page showcasing all the plans Maya offers. There are options for 5, 10, 15, or 30 days of data. So, you can select data options for 5, 10, 15, or 30 days and choose the desired amount of data. Let's say you need 15 days in New Zealand, click Activate Now. Clicking on this will redirect you to another page where you can select your start date and confirm your order. Don't forget to use the link in the description for a 10% discount, ensuring you save money. Here, you can grab 20 gigabytes of data for 15 days at only $32.70. Next, specify the starting date, then click on Review and Pay. Now you will need to create an account to access and manage your eSIM with Maya. Payments can be made using either a credit card or PayPal. Once the payment is completed, an email containing a QR code will be sent to you. Simply scan the QR code to activate it, which typically takes about a minute. In case you are unable to scan the QR code, Maya also offers a manual code that you can obtain by signing into your account. This ensures you have an alternative method to activate your eSIM. Maya will provide specific instructions if needed. Now you're all set to enjoy using your Maya mobile eSIM. Another option is using Aerolo. Also, you'll find a discount link for Aerolo in the description. Just search for New Zealand and you'll have various options to choose from. Let's compare some plans here. In New Zealand, at the time of this recording, a one-month, three-gigabyte plan through Aerolo is $11 whereas Maya Mobile offers the same plan for only $10. A one-month, 20-gigabyte plan through Aerolo is $44, whereas Maya Mobile offers the same plan for only $37. Those prices are without a discount, and at the checkout, if you use my links, the discount will be applied. So, opting for Maya Mobile means cost savings compared to Aerolo. However, the process with Aerolo remains the same. You'll receive a QR code to scan and activate the eSIM and sometimes you may come across excellent deals on Aerolo. And there you have it. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. I do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thanks for watching and take care.